Hello. Today, instead of science, I thought we would do some social studies. And we, as we read um, Encounter in class, this is the beginning of the unit on the explorers that came to California, also known as the conquistadors, or conquistadors in English. And in this timeline up here, you can see that this history, it starts in 1535 when Hernando Cortez reaches Baja, California. Baja, I hope you know, means the southern part. 1542, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo explores Alta, California, which is where we live in the north. 1602, Sebastian Vizcaino sails to Monterey Bay, which I hope some of you know. So um, here is a lovely photo of, or excuse me, drawing of Hernando Cortez, Hernando Cortez, and he came to the Americas looking for treasure like the piece of Aztec jewelry above. So, certainly going to be difficult to manipulate, but I will try my best. If you take a look here at this map, this is actually a map of the United States of America in the 1500s. Um, the name California comes from Queen Calafia, a character in a book that was popular in Europe in the 1500s. Uh, when this map was drawn in 1657, map makers thought that California was an island. Why do you think they would think this? So here you can see they drew California as an island separated from the United States. This is all empty here because they did not know about this other part of the United States. But you can see this is where New York would be. Florida. There's Mexico. So why do you think that they thought California was an island? I remind you of the five regions of California. Why did it feel like California was so isolated? The conquistadors, conquistador. By the early 1500s, Spain had claimed large parts of the Americas. Some Spanish explorers came in search of riches, others wanted to change the beliefs of the native peoples or convert them to Christianity. These explorers are known as conquistadors or conquerors. The lands they conquered became known as New Spain. In 1521, a conquistador named Hernando Cortez so just this stuff here is breaking it down so you can understand, the, you can read a more difficult word. So I'm going to skip that. Attacked the Aztec Indians in Mexico. Cortez and his soldiers defeated the Aztec and took their gold, silver, and jewels. Then he tore down the city of Tenochtitlan. In its place, the Spanish built Mexico City as the capital of New Spain. Explorers in the Americas also searched for a shortcut to Asia. Europeans wanted to trade for silk and spices there. At the time, however, European ships had to sail all the way around the tip of either South America or Africa to reach Asia. Spanish explorers had heard stories about a narrow waterway called the Strait of Anian. It was supposed to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Finding this strait would come with a high cost. It meant that Spain would have to send ships and sailors into the northern Pacific Ocean. Still, if the route were found, it would be of great benefit or help to the Spanish. It would shorten the trip to Asia, making trade with Asia easier. 
I really wish I had a map here to show you what they are talking about. Hmm. I thought there was a map in the back of this book. And they have a world map. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to just remove the camera for a second so you can really see this map. We are here in Spain. This is where our story starts. And over here is California. In Spain, what they wanted was to get to Asia. The only way to get there was either to go all the way around Africa to get to Asia, or go all the way around South America and around the world to Asia. They did not know about the Americas, so they thought if you went around, you would get to Asia very quickly. They did not know about this ocean. Okay, so that's that. So back to the reading. Whose page, what page was that on? Hmm. Over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, looking for a shortcut. Alta California. Remember, that's the north. That's where we are now. In search of the Strait of Anian, Cortez sailed north from the western coast of Mexico. In 1535, he reached what he thought was an island and claimed it for Spain. Other explorers discovered later that the region was not an island. It was a peninsula. A peninsula is land that has water almost all around it. The area would come to be known as Baja California. Baja means lower in Spanish. Cortes never found the Strait of Anian, but other Spanish explorers continued to look for it. In June 1542, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo set out from Mexico to explore the area that Spain would later call Alta California. So in this painting here, it shows what Cabrillo's landing in Alta California in 1542 might have looked like. Imagine... This is almost like those of you who have been um, to Monterey Bay or um, to Santa Cruz. Kind of looks like this part of California. Alta means high or upper in Spanish. The region is higher or farther north than Baja California. Cabrillo's ships carried 250 sailors and soldiers. They reached San Diego Bay in September 1542. Cabrillo and his crew continued to sail north and met Kumash Indians. Of the meeting, Cabrillo wrote, We saw an Indian town on the land next to the sea with large houses built much like those of New Spain. Many fine canoes, each with 12 or 13 Indians, came to the ships. Cabrillo and his crew sailed even farther north. They found neither treasures nor a shortcut to Asia. However, Cabrillo's voyage did help the Spanish learn about the coast of Alta California. So here is a map that shows you this journey that these men took from Mexico. You can see there's Mexico. And these different colors correspond with the different um, journeys that the men took. So let's start with Cortez in green. He left Mexico City and he came down here to the very southern tip of Baja California. This is actually Mexico today. Um, and then let's take Juan Rodri Rodriguez Cabrillo. 
he is light green and he went first um, to Baja California. He went all the way to San Diego. He kept going. Look, he went all the way past Oakland. This is Oakland right here before he turned around. Who went the farthest? It looks like Vizcaino. He went the farthest. He went all the way past Point Reyes. Whoops, Point Reyes. All the way to Mendocino. Okay, so soon. Uh oh, I don't have room. Excuse me. Soon other European countries joined in the search for a waterway between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. In December 1577, English explorer Francis Drake set sail for New Spain. There, he attacked Spanish ships and settlements and took their gold and other riches. Drake crossed the Atlantic and sailed through the Strait of Magellan at the southern tip of South America. While sailing north along the Pacific coast, Drake attacked several Spanish settlements. In one raid, Drake's crew took 80 pounds of gold. In the summer of 1579, Drake reached the California coast. He claimed the land for England and then circled the globe before returning home to England. Let's see. Only two more pages here. So here is a little section on the Spanish trading ships, and then I'll pull back so you can see. So Spanish trading ships, before Drake sailed along the coast of California, Spain began sending galleons full of gold and silver across the Pacific Ocean. These large trading ships traveled west to the Philippine Islands in Asia. Winds and ocean currents helped move the ships quickly across the ocean, often in about three months. Ocean currents are streams of water that move through the ocean. The galleons returned to New Spain, carrying spices and other treasures from Asia. On the trip back, ocean currents and wind patterns, or the general direction of the winds, were different. This journey took much longer often half a year or more, and food supplies and fresh water often ran low. In 1595, Sebastian Rodriguez Cermeno sailed from the Philippines to the coast of California. He was to look for a safe harbor where sailors could stop for repairs and supplies. Sebastian Vizcaino also wanted to find a good harbor. In 1602, he traveled north from Mexico. When Vizcaino entered Monterey Bay, he reported that it was the best port that could be desired and sheltered from all winds. However, Spain quickly lost interest in Alta California because it did not seem to have gold or silver. So there are some questions here. If Oh, first I wanted to show you. Let's do this first. So these are the questions um, if you would like to answer them. Why did Europeans explore the Americas? Um, is the one that is the most important to me. Um, there are some other questions if you would like them. Why did people who sailed from the Philippines want a harbor in California? How would a waterway connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans be helpful to Europeans? And lastly, why did conquistadors travel to New Spain? So the most important question to me is this one. Why did Europeans explore the Americas? And I'd like you to write that answer in two or three sentences. But before we go, I just want to show you this drawing because it's so cool. Look at this galleon. This is an example 
of the ships they were talking about that brought the gold and silver to Spain. Over and out.